What up, what up, it's Dana. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how much protein you can absorb in one meal. So after watching this video, you're gonna understand how much protein you can consume per meal and not waste any. So let's go straight for the ship. As always, backed by scientific research, let's get into it. So a lot of studies have been going on about how much protein you can consume per meal and not waste the rest of it, right? A lot of studies have done this. Now the problem is, they could only really, really measure the protein synthesis and we all know that when a protein synthesis exceeds the protein breakdown equals building new muscle tissue now the problem is all these studies just measure mainly protein synthesis because it's a lot easier than measuring protein breakdown and here's why first of all you need to understand that insulin reduces protein breakdown and we all know carbohydrate primarily spikes insulin and so does protein and that's a big correlation with that's why some people say okay protein eat a lot of it and it provides a lot of satiety which obviously it does however that correlates a lot with a spike in insulin levels as insulin is not a bad hormone it is a satiety hormone however i digress how much protein can you have per meal i'm going to make this straight quick to the point like i said they could only measure protein synthesis they couldn't measure protein breakdown however to make this very simple for you guys, in order to build more muscle tissue, this needs to happen. You need to have your protein synthesis exceed your protein breakdown. That's a net protein balance. Now, one thing you have to realize as well is that when you consume protein, protein is the only macronutrient that contains nitrogen, hence why these studies can be carried out. However, again, the problem with most of these studies is that they can't target a specific muscle where protein synthesis and protein breakdown and stuff like this is occurring. It's very, very hard. However, what I can tell you, and here's the conclusion. It does not really matter, and this is like loads of studies. This again, isn't just one study. It doesn't really matter how much protein you eat in one meal. It's basically a dose-response relationship, meaning it's like an inverted U effect, respectively. And by respectively, I mean up to a point, right? If you eat a 600 grams of protein, maybe some of that's being wasted, but when we're talking realistically, it doesn't really matter. So for example, I consume maybe 150 grams of protein per meal sometimes, especially when I do intermittent fasting. So, so far I haven't seen any side effects, but who knows, maybe if I do something else, I'll get more, more gains, so to say. So anyway, that's all you need to know. It doesn't matter how much protein you eat per meal. It could be 150 grams. Uh, obviously up to a limit right if you consume like two grams of protein per meal you're definitely not gonna get very very anabolic right the anabolic response is going to be very low however a lot of people are thinking how much they can actually have their maximum rather than a minimum so that's it a lot of people would think 20 to 30 grams per meal it doesn't really matter up to a point realistically so anyway and one thing as well it doesn't matter if you spread your protein intake throughout the day all that really matters, as it always comes down to, is the protein intake overall amount in the day. And obviously weeks, months, years, stuff like this. No, I'm joking, just weeks. So anyway, or months, whatever. <laughs> Stay positive. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your comments, suggestions. If you found this video helpful, kind of straight to the point, got a lot of value out of it, show your appreciation, that, appreciation down below. However, stay positive, stay smiling, Watch my new video, Intimate Fasting for the Ever Eating, and I'll see you in the next one.